Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you on the day of Saturday, November the 18th, 2023. And this day, the card that comes forward is a very unusual looking tarot card. You might be used to Rider weight tarot, but this comes from a different kind of deck, which is called the Psychic Tarot. For one moment, just take a moment to look at the image on the card. And for those who are so used to seeing usually an angel or a goddess or divine father or lord, there's nothing there, right? No symbol that is very, very obvious. That is the point of this day. In fact, for the People who are used to logic and like logic, there's nothing wrong with logic, will be irritated at this time. Your mind and your emotions also might again be in conflict. Now you might look at the words and say, but the words are not saying that it's memories of love. That's exactly what it's asking you to do. Remember when it was that you enjoyed having a heart and having feelings, friendships that you're grateful for, family, times of harmony, childhood, of course, romantic relationships, marriages, all of that. And even moments when you just shared love just because. You in a nice, beautiful restaurant, And someone just smiled at you and you smile back at that person and just enjoy that moment and that's remained as a memory. It doesn't always have to have a definition. So these memories of love, at this time when you're trying to find a reason to enjoy having a heart, are coming back to you. And that is why this image, this message from this deck came forward. Asking you now, first of all, to take a moment to just hold that particular holder with the candle burning already, gently blazing away and rising into the universal sky, you can say. But both your hands are holding this. So first of all, bring your hands together. And you don't have to be a healer for this, to just feel the pulse, the vibration of the universe, the universal love, how much you're loved by heavenly forces in all the realms of heaven. You, just because you are you, just enjoy being you. Take a breath in and bring your hands together as if you're holding this holder. And look at this image for a moment. Imagine this holder now coming gently between both your palms. You can feel it now. Even if you've never done this exercise before, some form of knowing will come to you if if visual or images are not, you, you say, your strength. Some form of knowing will come to you. And just keep, continue. Keep looking at this candle now burning for you what is that memory that wants to come to you right now that knowing again just let us spontaneously come to the surface and don't worry about now why did I remember that particular maybe you might remember a funny event of laughing with your friends under a tree in school or going on a strange vacation <laughs> with your with your family again laughing at the absurdity of everything or you just remember a movie a particular scene from a movie and you say how is that a memory of love it's a memory it's something that you hold dear and precious and it's within your being you can say and helping you remember remembering how to love how to express love how to receive love how to enjoy love, being soaked in love. That is why this particular candle 
if you see the color, is also violet. Helping your thoughts once again be reconnected back to being a source of love and light. Literally. Literally this day you can ask, I've forgotten. Remind me how to love. Resurrect within me memories of love if it's difficult for you to remember what those memories even were, that you've hidden them so deep within, or you're just so caught up with conflicts and troubles and fears. All the time you're dealing with just the negative that you've forgotten. And that is where these other forms of love in the candles and candle holders are coming towards you. You can invite them one by one throughout the day. That's why there's no hurry to this process. It's a beautiful, graceful process, even if you are in the middle of responsibilities and having to take care of family or not of good health, or you're very concerned with financial problems, or you have losses, or you have a lot of mental chatter going on, or you're angry and it is and in disharmonious kind of relationships or conflicts, all that can find a way to be cleared and for memories of love to resurrect even there. Ask the angelic forces. Ask the unicorns. The divine ones are coming in all forms this day. Ask for signs to appear to help these memories of love appear even as you look and hold a flower. Within the petals of the flower, you might find this candle starts burning in your mind's eye as you look at the petal, as you look at an image, not related to this image over here, but something you're looking at or reading again you find the candle burning over there. Or you just think about the candle for no reason. And it appears as a solution, as annoying. Something that enhances your trust, your belief, that yes, what I'm considering is the right path for me. So a confirmation even of a decision you're making and the memories of love can help you move forward because see, they're surrounded by light, that is going clockwise. And you can even use one of these holders and touch and ask. Ask something from the past to confirm a decision you're making for your future. Like maybe buying of a car. That, oh, this kind of a car worked for me in the past, so this kind of a car will work for me in the future, but I want to enhance it with. What are you doing? You're using the memories of love Surrendering it to the universal flame and bringing forward the new. And you're holding it because there's no name that's given to the holder in your hands. It can keep on changing throughout the day related to different realms of your life. I just gave you an example so that you can apply this and don't think that you need some qualification or that you have to be a great psychic or that you've had to have 10 years of knowing how to buy a car. You need it. You're asking for it. The universal forces are finding a way. And feelings basically will help you become a portal of love, inviting love in in all aspects and fulfilling your wishes this way, using your memories. Usually we think of memories as some kind of a baggage or something that why do we even have to have memories? It's so much to hold in your mind. Most of the time you think of memories as some kind of baggage that you're carrying around and that you would rather leave them behind somewhere. But they're there to enhance your connection to what is precious to you. So use memories of love also to enhance the sense of gratitude in your life. Look at the one of these candles again. What is it that I have that has only got better and better and better over the years? Like a marriage, like a friendship, like a talent that you have, that you've honed. 
maybe your connection to the divine that I started with the angelic forces and now I know about such and such and now I have such and such knowledge and I become a teacher or a master. Those memories of love. Or maybe you want to enhance your connection to a particular form of healing and you recognize that you've already done the basics, like the foundation is already there. You planted And that plant is now coming to blossom. Literally for a physical, tangible manifestation, think about what you did in the past to help that manifestation to now come about in the present. What does that mean? Again, maybe going back to buying a house that you put in the papers, but you never did anything about it. But now that plot, that house, is available in your budget in the way that you want it and that you can buy that house and move into it within a month, per se. I'm just giving you a timing. But something like that, something that you have desired that has been a source of, you can say you've been running around it and it's, It seems to be coming and then it goes away and it seems to be coming and it goes away. Now, these memories of love are coming to be held by you. That is why the universe is giving you a chance to put both your palms around the candle, that it not drop off, that you receive the guidance completely, that you trust it, you trust yourself, your connection to the divine, that you don't think that you're unworthy in any way. All of that is behind you. You use the highest and best of your knowledge in the best of your capacity and in your way to understand it and your unique connection to divine forces. And again, keep looking at the flame. It'll guide you. This Within this very day, you will do action steps to take yourself forward. And not just esoterically, but physically. Tangibly, even if it's a small thing as moving your furniture around or making phone calls or sending an email, you will be able to do it easily and effortlessly. But you will move forward because the scandal will keep on burning on your behalf. Sending everything that you need wherever it needs to go and giving you the knowledge that you need to connect with the forces of light with the types of knowledge that you need, the application steps, the faith, the people, the physical circumstances, and of course your body. Your body will be able to handle all of this. And if you see, also, look at each one of these holders. Not only are they clockwise movements, around them but it's also in pale blue and floating on water again helping your feelings first of all to just calm down to calm down to be in the present to look at these to trust because of course all of this wonderful knowledge will not work if you're upset Or you're blaming yourself or you're blaming your circumstances or you're busy complaining or you're busy crying. None of that will work, right? So if you feel any of that and it's fine to feel that, let it rise to the surface because you're cleansing your inner self and helping actually the divine ones to help you because you're receptive and you're open and you're listening. You're clear. So here you are. You see this clear water and then you decide which candle go you go to. Take a moment. Now you might say, what does it mean if I go to a particular candle, if it's to the left or the right? And why is it that the other one did not call me? And does that mean I'm missing something? No, it means that that's the step you're taking. It's just a step. You can even write it down for yourself. Is it step one? Is it step 10? Now, again, you might say, why does step 10 have to come before step one? Isn't it supposed to be from one to 10? Ask. 
ask why is it that 10 showed up maybe that's where the obstacle might come or the difficulty might arise again and you might start to give up again and prevent these memories of love from coming to you because it's something that is so painful in the past that you don't want to even bring it up but it wants to be healed today to free you from that pattern that you don't keep hitting yourself that is the reason number 10 would call so go ahead and again look at these waters if you're upset calm your emotions down have some nice water room temperature or cold it doesn't matter your comfort level and then again look at these candles and see for what purpose they're emerging at what time of day they're emerging it'll all be synchronistic because there's so so many layers and circles of light around each one of these holders for a purpose it's not just for movement it's also to say that this time of day might be fruitful for and that time of day might be fruitful for all of that is coming together and if you see how the holders are also they're impenetrable that's one thought that might not have come to you. you might have thought oh this is glass isn't it going to break it's not glass if you see it's just so translucent that's how you need to invite all of these memories to you towards you just believing being present enjoying the process trusting it and that flame it's impenetrable again so if you resurrect this and that's one of your fears oh if i remember this somebody might come and touch it and that flame it'll burn out or that orb it'll be destroyed something will go wrong this something will go wrong is again just a fear bring it into your hand and this day finally cross that obstacle that fear and say no i'm going to enjoy having this memory using it and for what purpose the divine ones brought it to my notice to my focus this day there's some purpose and that purpose will be realized and i will enjoy this process not fear it and not hide from it and not push it aside like i'll do it again tomorrow if you do it again tomorrow that tomorrow will never come keep on doing this as many times as you need to this day it might be more than once that you need to pay attention to these memories of love these candles but give them the chance to shine for you and you shine for yourself and maybe these memories are even related to one of your chakra points your chakra point might be that part of your body that has always been a problem for you so if you have heartburn issues or stomach issues that might be the reason because you blocked your memory you blocked yourself from remembering and using it to full effect this day finally set yourself free these memories of love might be also a thought a vibration mentally speaking that is coming up and it is continuing to come up again you've ignored it and this day it will not be ignored why because there's a lot of movement going on in universal life forces that are asking us to accept the best for ourselves but sometimes we don't think we're good enough and that we're divine enough there's nothing as being too divine or too filled with love you're perfect just the way you are these memories of love are also coming forward to remind you of that maybe that's what you need to remember how divine you are and how many divine experiences you've had just being yourself not being the perfect psychic and not being in the perfect workshop and not giving the perfect healing but just being you and you've had a connection with an angelic force 
or in a meditation and that was a wonderful memory you held on to continue holding on to it you just don't know what kind of surprises the divine forces have for you this day so enjoy receiving these memories of love and you will go forward divine one you're meant to to pure happiness fulfillment in every way and if you see the number also the card is number 6 the number of balance that's exactly the gift heaven wants to give you this day complete balance and fulfillment and the border of the card is green again helping you feel good that's why these memories of love again reemerging and this comes to you superbly so simply and gracefully given to you by John Holland and John can be reached at capital J O H N capital H O L L A N D dot com and the wonderful explanation of love this time comes to you through the art shining so simply and gracefully and completely and sweetly through the art of v a n van d o r n van dorn h i w n a n t hinant i hope i said that correctly do do correct me if i ever go wrong in explanation or uh, pronunciation even i stand to learn okay let's teach each other and the website for reaching random and oh sorry van dorn is visions v i s i o n s visions o f of energy e n e r g y dot com visions of energy dot com and this is tina signing off for now have a superb day inviting the memories of love and resurrecting the memories of love bye for now